Alright, this is going to be a video on what package units and the difference between a package unit and a split system air conditioning and uh, of course uh, yeah you know how I am I'm going to use train to show you guys this let's do a gas heating system with electric cooling now um, and we'll just use low end equipment heck we'll use the best one the XL20i and the best furnace which is the XV95 in my opinion so basically in an air conditioning system you have two components you have an outdoor unit which is a condensing unit air conditioner and or heat pump and you have an indoor unit which is either an air handler or a gas furnace in this particular example we're going to be using a gas furnace as the indoor unit what represents the indoor equipment so in a typical split system and split systems are the most common um, you have an indoor unit like I said which is a gas furnace and its job is going to be to provide heat to uh, um, heat your home on a cold day. Now let's look at the brochure because in this brochure that train gives us we can look at a cutaway view of the internals of the furnace and how it works. So right there. One thing I love about train is that they give you these nice diagrams. So here you can see and this is a fancy high-end furnace from train. You've got the Comfort Link 2 communicating module box there. You get your variable speed EC and blower variable speed inducer, the burners, you get your heat exchanger right here, it's your primary heat exchanger, it's your secondary heat exchanger because this is a, this is a high efficiency condensing furnace and then because it vents through PVC pipe you have your combustion exhaust right there and your combustion air intake right there down into the sealed burner box um, so basically the fan pulls air, return air from your home blows it across the heat exchangers which flames are shooting into and then the warm air goes throughout your ducts and that's what comes out of that's that's the warm air that comes out of the vents that heat your home in the winter time so that's how the indoor section of a split system functions and that's a gas furnace the air handlers all electric systems they function a bit differently but they also have a blower same same they have the same blower and everything now the outdoor unit um, the air conditioner see in a split system heating and cooling you're going to have a furnace and then you're going to have an evaporator coil either on top or on the bottom of it. If it's a downflow, the evaporator coil should be on the bottom. If it's an upflow, the evaporator coil should be on the top. Um, and that is so that if you had the evaporator coil on top and a downflow, when the unit's running, it's going to be pulling cold air down through the furnace down through the heat exchanger so the inside so the, since the heat exchanger is going to be getting cold from the air conditioner the inside of the heat exchanger will actually start to condensate because the air in the heat exchanger is um, cooler I mean it's warmer than the air going across it on the outside of it because the heat exchanger is open to the outside the inside of it is on a high efficiency furnace because of the vents so if it's warm and muggy outside and you're blowing that cold air conditioned air over it you're going to cause the inside of the heat exchanger to condensate which is going to produce rust which is going to crack the heat exchanger uh, very quickly and the same thing on an upflow you don't want your evaporator coil on the bottom because that will do the same thing um, now on the outdoor unit you have a compressor and let's get the brochure for this this particular model this being the best unit that you can buy for your money has dual compressors um, the dual compressor design from Train has been around since the late 80s, I believe, in the XL1800. This particular one is the XL20i. Um, it's a 20 sear on first stage, 26 sear on, no, 20 sear on second stage, 26 sear on first stage. It's got two compressors. Say that, say that you have a four ton unit, which is 48,000 BTUs. It'll be, you'll have a four ton compressor and a two ton compressor for two stage. On the first stage, the unit will operate on its two-ton compressor, operating at 24,000 BTUs. Um, on second stage, it will shut off the, low, the small compressor and run on its large compressor, which is a four-ton, which is the full capacity of the unit. So you can see in here, um, 
we've got two contactors for the two compressors in this dual compressor unit. Uh, got a capacitor up here, got a hard start there, got another capacitor down there, got a transformer there for this comfort link control board. Um, and yeah, see you got the dual Climatuff compressors, see there. And yeah, that's an outdoor unit. Um, again, just a straight cool unit. This is not a heat pump. We will cover heat pump systems uh, in the near future. But yeah, that's what an outdoor unit does. It's got refrigerant in it that pumps to the indoor unit. Oh gosh, I'm starting to explain how an air conditioner works. I've already done that. Um, I'll put a link in the description. Um, if I get if I forget to put the link in the description, let me know in the comments. But um, I'll put a link in the description if I can remember to do it of my video I made on how air conditioners and heat pumps work. Now, that's a split system, and it's called a split system because you just saw there's it, the system is split into two pieces. There's an indoor section and an outdoor section. What about a package system? A package system is where the indoor and outdoor units are combined into one cabinet in one piece and the only thing penetrating the wall of the home is the ductwork that the air flows through. This is the highest end gas pack I think you could buy and it's a Train XL16C packaged gas electric. It's a 16.6 .6 sear uh, for cooling. It's got a two-stage Climatuff scroll compressor and it has a 80% efficient gas furnace inside of it. Um, which is also a two-stage furnace. So let's look at the brochure and we'll look at the cutaway. And you will notice that in a packaged unit, um, it's loading, see there? In a packaged system, come on, what? Yeah, right there. Oh, that's an air conditioner. That's a heat pump. That's a gas electric. Um, in a packaged unit, see we got the outdoor section here, we got the outdoor coils, and they don't really look like that. They go all the way around. That's just cut away so you can see inside the unit in this diagram. Um, you got the outdoor condensing fan. You got the coils. It pulls air in through these louvers and then discharges it up to the top. That's your outdoor section. Um, and then down here is your indoor unit. There's your Vortica blower, which is exclusive to train and America Standard products. You've got all your controls up here. Um, and you have your heat exchangers in here. And then down there are the burners and the inducer assembly. So those gas packs at my church you've seen videos of, um, the XB13C units, they're not as high end as this is, but um, where this part is labeled compressor, see right there, that's what the compressor looks like in there. This is labeled blower, that's what the blower looks like in there. And this is labeled control slash heat because your heating section is right there and then just above that is where you can access all your controls. There's your control board, your uh, contactors right there, 24 volt transformer looks like there, and then a relay. Kind of hard to see on this screen. See, it's just a little diagram there. But that's what a package system is. A package system, or also commonly called a self-contained system, means that every component of a, of a split system air conditioning system, or any air conditioning system, every component of it is in one piece. Even, even a window unit is considered a package system because the compressor, the indoor unit, and the outdoor unit are all in one piece in the window. It's a very small package system, but it is a package system. And then just for kicks, we'll go to the XL16C packaged heat pump. As you can see, there is no furnace. Just have a control board here, a defrost board, contactor, and it has a reversing valve and all that. And you can go to my other video to see how a heat pump works. But that is the difference between a split system and a package system. Um, if you have any comments, questions, or any other video suggestions I should do, please leave them in the comments. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you learned something. Over and out.